The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 2 Chang'an in a Dream Section 17 A Dark Future Yunye was pinched by the old cow again. The old guy said whose foot he wanted, so he went to chop it off and put it on his son, and Mrs. Niu, who was kind and kind-eyed, also looked eager to try, hurriedly took a horizontal knife for the old cow, and asked if he wanted to wear the armor all over. Yunye finally stopped the crazy too but saw that the calf's eyes were red, even if he was asked to cut people's feet on Suzaku Street now, he would not hesitate to do it, and wouldn't pity those who were cut down. Uncle Niu's severed feet can't be used, only the little nephew makes one for brother Jianhu. The bad thing was that the sentence was bad, Yunya had the urge to hit his head against the wall when he thought of this paragraph. When the old cow heard this, he grabbed Yunya's arm and shook it vigorously, and Jian who was still holding his legs and not letting him run. If it weren't for Mrs. Niu seeing Yunya's face in pain, it would not be unusual for his arm to be pinched off. When he came home, Yunya was carried back in the car, which was going to kill the old grandmother, and she saw her grandson's arms black and purple, she cried and fainted twice, the little girls cried and cried, and Ziobe also kicked the old cow's feet. The old cow looked embarrassed, rubbed his hands, and stood in the yard without speaking. Mrs. Niu kept compensating the grandmother, and Yunye also said that it was okay, that a little injury would not damage the muscles and bones, and it would be fine in a few days, so he persuaded the grandmother not to faint. Uncle Niu, the little nephew's hands can't be moved for a while, and the work of doing the foot for brother Jian who has to be done slowly, no one else can do this, only the little nephew does it himself. As soon as the little nephew's arm is good, we will start, you can rest assured, that it won't take a few days to return you to a lively cow and tiger. The corners of Lao Niu's mouth trembled, and he was about to come up and pat Yun Ye on the shoulder with red eyes, but was slapped away by Mrs. Niu, if it weren't for the fact that you didn't have a lightweight under your hands, how could brother Yun lie on the bed, you would have already made Hu'er's feet, if brother Yun is crippled, the old lady will not finish with you, my poor son, how could you have such a father? This statement is ambiguous, I call the old cow uncle, not the father. Yun yet thought depressedly. Lao Niu stomped his feet and said, the old man will go into the palace to beg his majesty to let the old worshippers in the palace come out and cure Xiaoye in the fastest way. After saying that, he ran away. Yunye comforted Mrs. Niu, Auntie, don't worry, it's not a day or two to get Brother Tiger's foot, you have to prepare materials first, and you have to carefully measure Brother Tiger's legs, this is all meticulous work, Brother Tiger's left foot is gone, and it is the right foot that is used which causes a difference in the strength of the two legs. Mrs. Niu memorized it twice, saw Yunye draw a picture crookedly with a brush in his mouth, took the sketch, and went back to make crutches for her son. As soon as Mrs. Niu left the house, it was like entering a weasel's chicken coop, making a mess, this aunt glanced at Yunye's arm shed a few tears, and cursed Lao Niu, who should be killed with a thousand knives. The ant carefully touched her bruised arm and howled in her throat, if it weren't for the fact that Yun Ye was already fifteen years old, she would have been breastfeeding in her arms. Yun Ye very, very much enjoyed the current treatment, 
The sharp voice of the woman in the family had never been so beautiful, chewing the malto stuffed in by the big girl in her mouth, Zioxi, Ziobe carefully blew on his brother's arm with her cheeks puffed out, as if doing so would relieve the pain. The old grandmother shed tears when she saw Yunya, and she didn't know where so many tears came from. In short, he was in pain and happy. Li Er heard Lao Niu say that Yunya was going to make a foot for Lao Niu's son, and he sprayed out a mouthful of tea, and the waiter combed Li Er's back, hurrying, and the cough eased. Yunya just gave Lao Qin a blood stealing life, this is going to rebuild Niu Jianhu's limbs, what kind of ability is this in mythology? Tai Jinren can use Lotus Root to reshape Naza's body and regenerate him, could it be said that Yun Ye, this kid, also has this ability this is the gossip that caused Li Er's strong thoughts, although he told himself in his heart that he used human life to test the authenticity of Yun Ye's words last time, this kind of thing has not been done by other emperors except for King Yin and the news has to be blocked so that the ministers can't know about it. But he couldn't suppress the strong curiosity in his heart. He heard the old cow say that he wanted to invite a few old worshippers into the palace to take a look at the disease, and asked. According to my view, the medical skills of Lan Chen Ho are not under any famous doctors in the world, why is Iking willing to seek the near and far Lao Niu looked embarrassed and hurriedly told Li Er about his accidental pinching and injury to Yun Ye, which made Li Er laugh and ordered the attendant to go to the worship office to ask the old worshipper to come to the clinic. He dragged Lao Niu to the apse, invited the queen, and the two of them talked about Yun Ye with Lao Niu. In the Tang dynasty, the concubines did not see foreign ministers, only the queen was an exception, she ruled the concubines, and governed the inner government, and all the noble women respected her. If Li Er is a golden dragon entrenched in Chang'an, then the queen is the rich and gorgeous golden phoenix. I heard that the son of Lan Ho is expected to heal from his injured foot, but is it true as soon as he came up, the queen asked Lao Niu to determine the authenticity of the incident. As soon as he mentioned this matter, Lao Niu's face was full of joy. Back to Niang Niang, there is indeed such a thing. Today Lan Chen Ho came to the old minister's house and saw the dog's foot injury. He checked him and found that the knee was intact and said, since the knee was fine, he was sure to make a foot for the dog, and after he was installed, walking, sitting, and lying would be no different from ordinary people. The old minister was excited and pinched Lan Chen Ho's arms, I am sorry. For this child, this was the second time the old minister pinched him, this child is kind-hearted and does not hold grudges, his arm cannot move especially in the memory of the dog's injured foot to comfort the old minister, it made the old minister grateful and ashamed. Is that true the queen confirmed again? It's true, the old minister is convinced. The old cow is sure to be categorical. What do you think of Lan Chen Ho? What do you think of Bai Yujing Li Er interjected? Bai Yujing is ethereal, Lan Chen Ho can't tell the truth, he can only judge from his master's words that it must be an unknown place for ordinary people, maybe there are masters who can touch the edge, such as the bearded guest, the old minister, and Li Jing are also considered to be intersecting but I have never heard him talk about it, how did Lan Chen Ho know it can be seen that he has indeed seen this person, and by extension, Lao Chen thinks that Bai Yujing may exist, but mortals such as us can't reach it. As for the Marquis of Lanchen, the old minister's assertion is, 
This is a good boy, a true son of a master. How so? The old minister has seen a lot of traitors and evildoers, but Yun Ye is not, and the minister dares to guarantee his life. In the opinion of the old minister, being able to tell the court that there will be a catastrophe next year is enough to prove that this child has a pure heart, even if he is a little careful, it is also due to his nature, and he is pampered by his master, he can't stand the grievances, and he is proud, this is nothing, it is because of these problems that the old minister prefers this child. Looking at the departing Niu Jinda, Li Er was thoughtful, and the queen smiled and said to Li Er, Second brother, we may have asked the wrong person, and the Marquis of Lanja will naturally not say that he is not. O oh queen! From your tone, I found that you didn't even doubt that Yunya could create such a thing as human feet, why? Second brother, you just have a character that doesn't give up until the Yellow River, since he stepped into the world, what thing did he do that was expected Lanchen Ho has repeatedly surprised your expectations, making you have the illusion that this is a character that even you can't control, and naturally, it is suspicious everywhere. Just now, the concubine figured out a question, Lanchen Ho is not a character that I can educate in the Tang Dynasty, what he does is far from my ordinary teenagers in the Tang Dynasty, what he thinks and worries are simply strange, and it is secretly in line with heavenly reason, the concubine has great respect for his master, what kind of virtuous person can educate such a child? But it doesn't matter, isn't he going to enter the palace after the year leave it to the concubine to discipline, and I don't believe that he can escape from our grasp. The queen gritted her teeth a little as she spoke. Looking at the queen's appearance, Li Er couldn't help laughing. Only Yun Ye was covered in the thick quilt and had chills all over his body and sneezed fiercely, and the grandmother thought that her grandson was cold, and added a thick fur. 